Hey everybody, Ted back today with another video and sorry for the long absence, but my studio got completely ruined as all the rain we've been getting here in Atlanta had come through my foundation and ruined some drywall and I'm in the midst of sorting that out and I'm sort of in a makeshift setup for today, but the videos must continue. And today I'm going to be talking about the TechArt TZC01. Now this is an adapter that will allow you to use Canon EF glass on your Nikon Z mount camera. And this adapter is one of two that TechArt makes. Uh, one being a Canon EF to Z adapter and the other being a Sony E mount to Z adapter. This is the Canon one. And uh, it's really simple in what it does. It allows you to adapt Canon glass, and I have here a Canon Nifty 50, the $125 uh, 50 millimeter 1.8 lens that Canon makes. It's the cheap one. And I've got the adapter here, and I'll pull it out of its box. And you've got your lens cap to take off. You've also got a base cap or a mount cap, which also has a nifty little e micro USB port on it that will allow you to deliver firmware updates to this mount adapter. So say if in the future Nikon releases a firmware update for the Z body that renders this inoperable, TechArt could theoretically release a firmware update that could fix that problem. So it's nice to see that that is something they incorporated in that might give you a little bit of peace of mind into buying this. So this adapter is roughly the same size as the Nikon FTZ adapter and adding it to the camera is just a matter of adding it on and then taking your lens and adding that on as well. Line up the red dot, turn it. Now adding the lens to the adapter, it's a bit of a tight uh, squeeze with this uh, 50 millimeter. I've also got a Canon 100 millimeter macro one uh, 2.8 uh, L lens that I've been using as well that I rented from Aperture Rent and if you are looking for a rental company for lenses and bodies and other video and audio equipment and photography equipment uh, you can't go wrong with Aperture Rent. I'll put a link down below in the description. They're not paying me to say this. I just use them a lot. They're here in Atlanta. I believe they're also in Texas and they have an office in Washington DC as well but you can get them to ship you lenses and equipment anywhere, so check them out. So with the lens attached via the adapter, um, it works very, very well. Autofocus with this 50 millimeter is pretty close to what I would expect it to be on a native Canon EF body. Um, it's been a while since I used an EF body with this 50 millimeter lens, the last one being the Canon 5D Mark III. Uh, but the autofocus is snappy, and yes, I am using the latest Nikon V3 firmware here on this Nikon Z7. Okay, so here we are looking at the Nikon Z6 with the Canon 50mm f1.8 STM2 lens adapted, and we're using firmware 3.0, and we are obviously taking pictures of my dog, and we are employing the new animal I detect and you can see here uh, takes a bit to, to find her now it's a little bit hard with my dog because her eyes and her her fur color are uh, both brown and there's not a whole lot of contrast between the two but even said uh, it does a pretty fairly decent job uh, even with his adaptive lens in finding her um, it, it wigs out a few times but then it, it quickly finds her and picks it back up and we're getting boxes over both her her eyes and her face as we come in and out of range on the subject Okay, so I'm using the adapter to record video now along with the Canon 50mm f1.8 STM lens and uh, performance is actually pretty good. This, no this lens is a bit noisy as it focuses, uh, but if you're really going to use it, you'll probably really be using an external mic and that really won't really 
be that bad, but you can hear how the motors are grinding here with the uh, internal mic on the camera itself. So, pretty good for video. If you've got some Canon lenses you want to use for video, this might not be a bad option. So if you're somebody who has a large amount or just maybe a particular Canon piece of glass that you really just don't want to live without, uh, this adapter can really bring it to life on your Nikon camera. Uh, at $250 though, it's not, a, it's not something I would recommend unless you have that glass that you want to use or if there's a particular lens that you want to use on your Nikon body. Uh, performance is good but not great. It's obviously going to lag behind native glass but it seems to work as well as uh, mounting a Nikon F piece of glass via the FTZ adapter on the Z. So um, if you're looking to use this with some Canon glass, you can't go wrong. Again, that $250 price point uh, might be a tough sell for somebody who only has one or two uh, Canon lenses that they're trying to adapt. But for someone who has a whole assortment of them and doesn't want to give that up, this is definitely a good option to bring those lenses onto your Z-mount camera and give you full autofocus and uh, full feature capability on your Nikon Z cameras. Now, when you bring this, bring the files that you shoot with these lenses that are adapted into Lightroom, uh, you will see the focal length and you will see the max aperture, but you will not see the manufacturer. So this Canon 50mm 1.8 uh, identifies as just a 50 millimeter 1.8 lens, same with the uh, 100 millimeter f2.8. You get the focal length, you get the max aperture, but you do not get the camera or the lens brand. Um, this is not uh, this is not something that's too surprising. Uh, I've noticed a bunch of Nikon f glass that I adapt to the Z doesn't doesn't show you the camera or the lens brand as well. Um, mostly third-party lenses, um, but that's a, that's a minor annoyance. That's nothing that would really stop me from recommending this. So if you do have Canon glass, and this is something that you want to adapt to use on your Nikon Z camera, highly recommend it. Everyone else, eh, maybe not. I don't know, whatever. Thanks again for watching. If you liked what you saw, please click the thumbs up, and if you haven't already, please click the subscribe button and the bell icon to get notifications when new videos are available. I will have another video out soon, I promise, and I'll see you in the next one.